welcome to day two. So day two, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I've never done one of these before, so I thought I would go and forth and do it. Getting more and more into my photography, I had a little bit of a side business going on last year, doing some product stuff for friends, uh, band stuff, now surfing stuff. It's been pretty cool. So because I'm getting more into my photography, I wanted to make this channel more about photography as well as whatever I'm up to and it was meant to be surfing but because of this whole thing I've kind of lost my job and no one really wants to go surfing anymore. <laughs> We're not allowed to. So I thought I'd do this once in my camera bag video just to share what I use on a day-to-day -day basis on a shoot. It changes from day to day obviously but pretty much everything that I keep in my bag at once because I have nowhere else to put it. I'm always on the go. I've got no nice shelves to put things on display. So I keep it in my bag at all times and then we go and do it. Before we start, I'll just, I need to just. Oh, ran out of milk. I'm gonna have to tell my mum to go and get me some more milk. <laughs> oh, smells good though. Let's get this started, okay? So, why don't we just go straight down to it. I've made this top-down photo I'll put up right now. I'll be reverting back to that quite a lot because a lot of the stuff on in the photo I'm using now to make the video. So, I'll revert back to that so that you know what I'm talking about. Things that I'm not using right now, obviously just produced to the camera and so you can see. <laughs> so yeah, first thing we've got is the EOS R, Canon EOS R. I bought that last year in October, just before I moved to New Zealand. I was working with this, hold on. I was working with this, which is the Canon, you gonna zoom in on that? Ooh. The Canon 700D. It was a great little camera, great little DSLR. I kinda missed using it, it's so small. and. I'm missing a lot of things, it's a bit... I don't know why I'm showing you this, I don't... this isn't in my camera bag. <laughs> um, so yeah, I used the EOS R, went mirrorless, it cost me all the money in the world, and I highly recommend it. It's a great little camera, it's what I'm filming on just now. It took a bunch of these photos... Oh! Yeah, it's great. Um, I use it for everything now. <laughs> well, it's my camera. <laughs> I'm glad I upgraded, I'm glad I went mirrorless. It's very fast, it's very light, it's very small. It's great for putting in my camera bag. If anyone's looking to buy a new camera, I'd definitely recommend this. It's, it's, it's absolutely class. Moving on to lenses. This lens in the photo that is attached to the, uh, the EOS R is the Canon 18 to 135 mil. It is the bog standard kit lens that came with my 700D. I think it's pretty decent. It's got an image stabilization on it. It's what you're watching me now, so I think it looks good. Yeah, I think the only way I would probably upgrade is once I save up enough money. <laughs> Thinking about getting the ones that are actually for the R, rather so that I don't have to use this mount, and I can use every, like it's made for the camera, so I might as well just get one that's made for the camera, but also that costs. <laughs> also that costs all the money, so. Give me money? <laughs> but quickly moving on, we have this, which is the Sigma 35mm 1.4. This is an absolute beast, I love it. I've been using this as my bog standard lens since I went to New Zealand. I wanted to challenge myself and just use a fixed focal length rather than being able to zoom in if you haven't quite got the shot, so you have to move around a lot, really think about how you want it frame that shot and then possibly edit it all in post. 
crop it down and stuff. <laughs> but no, I love this. It's a uh, great depth of field. I've done landscapes, I've done portraits. I've, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I've done some product of photography as well on this. If you want to check out everything I've done, here's my website again. I'll just leave that there. I'll leave it in the description down below as well. Yeah, this is a class lens. I absolutely love it. I really like Sigma. It's got a nice weight to it. It's not as expensive as Canon stuff, which is great. And in my opinion, not that I have that big of an opinion with photography and glass, it is a very, very decent camera lens. <laughs> Moving on to this absolute shotgun of a lens. <sighs> put this, once you put this on as well, Jesus Christ, look how big this thing is. What? Why? <laughs> this is the Sigma 150 to 600 mil. I bought this guy specifically for surfing. Usually when you're shooting surfing, you're pretty far away. <laughs> so yeah, I think 150 to 600 is a bit excessive. And usually when I'm using this, I use the tripod that I'm using right now because when you're zooming in a lot, you kind of need just that steadiness to, to hold that there rather than holding it and be like, oh God. Also, if you were to hold this, Jesus Christ, this is the heaviest thing in the world. I love it though. Sigma again. I'm pretty impressed with Sigma. They're, they're affordable prices. Their lenses are really, really good. To be fair, I've not compared them to a Canon lens because I don't have enough money to buy a Canon lens. I'm happy with this. It works really, really well. Also, sea skin sticker, slave to the sea. People who know, know. People who don't, look it up. Lastly, camera wise, it's not in the photo, is this, which is my Apple iPhone XR. XR, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% confident in like vlogging with people around, so I use this quite a lot. And with most of the shots that I did yesterday and in New Zealand has most mainly been this. But yeah, I just use this. It shoots at 24 frames a second. It shoots in 4K. It shoots at 120 frames a second. So if I want to do slow-mo stuff, yeah, it's a pretty fun and it sounds all right. From what I've done when I edited, it sounds pretty decent. Those are all the camera stuff that I use in my bag. That's usually not in my bag, that's probably in my pocket. What have we got next? I've got a little list down here, by the way, so if you see me looking down, I've got a list of everything that I'm gonna tell you about. <laughs> next up, if you look at the picture again, we have the Rode Video Micro, I think what it's called. I also have a dead cat on there. I usually just leave it on. It's usually for wind resistance, but you know, I don't know, maybe it muffles it slightly. The volume and the sound I think is fine, so I think it's all right. I don't have like a big sound rig, so this kind of works. And it's a lot better than just the inbuilt microphone in the camera. So yeah, I like it. It's not bad. Moving on to this. This is my Lacey external hard drive. It is a two terabyte hard drive. It's almost full, so I need to think about buying another one. It's good. I've had some issues with it, with this in particular, this little insert. It kind of goes in and out of connection with my laptop, which terrifies me because ejecting without pushing eject is meant to like corrupt the files and stuff. Luckily, nothing bad has happened since I've since doing that. But I might cut this out actually because it, it kind of it just doesn't connect properly. That's the only issue. Oh, my light went out. <laughs> okay, we're back. That took a while, but for you guys it was like moments. So yeah, that's the only issue I have is the connection. Other than that, it's very, very fast, very expensive, and I need to buy another one soon. So, moving on. I have, it's not, it's not in the photo, but I also obviously use SD cards. I always keep one in the camera. I never really carry another one because I think I have 64 gigs or something. And I know that the videos that I make will never fill 64 gigs. I usually use it for photography anyway. I never really take enough photos to fill a 64 gigabyte uh, SD card. So there's that, that always stays in the camera. Happy days. In the photo, you'll see one battery. That is because I've not bought any more. <laughs> I have in the past run out of battery, which sucks and you have to sit there, wait for it to charge up again. So yeah, something for the future. I need to buy more batteries. In the middle of that photo, you see this. This is my notebook. Um, it's just your regular notebook. It's got not much going on in there. All ideas and stuff. Video ideas, photography lists, so I always want to get specific shots. I make sure I write them down and then I can 
cross those off. It's always quite good to write lists, I guess, and then you can cross them off and feel better about yourself. <laughs> Basically what I've done with this and from what I'm doing with these videos. So yeah, always good to kind of have this. I don't really journal. I just use these for ideas and things. Moving on, shall we look and see what's next? Ah yes, the thing that ties everything together. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. The MacBook Pro, it is a 12 inch? 13 inch, 13 inch MacBook Pro. One of the newer ones, I got this again last year. It's a pretty good bog standard MacBook Pro. Again, I use my hard drive whenever I'm editing or making anything. So I try to keep this nice and quick, nice and fast. So yeah, I, most of the editing I do is with uh, external hard drive, but this is class, it's light, it fits in the bag nicely, so yeah. Along with those comes stuff like this. This is the dongle thing because Apple. I also carry an extra plug because you never know when you need another plug. It's just got a USB port. And then there's the power bank for the Mac. Obviously keeping that on charge. There, that's good all the way over there. And then lastly, on the MacBook are these, which are my blue light glasses, which make me look very smart. <laughs> I feel like I look more like my brother when I put them on. It's quite weird. But these are just because when I... I don't have no idea if they work, but usually when I'm on my laptop and I'm editing or I'm playing a lot of video games, I wear these. My eyes don't dry up as much. I don't get itchy, dry eyes. Yeah, they seem to work, so I wear them whenever I edit and stuff, so yeah. If you ever think about getting some, these are really good. And then last but not least, I don't know why I did this. Yo, is the bag itself. I'm using a low pro camera bag. <laughs> I'm not sure the brand of it, but you can see it there. It's relatively small, compact. Open it up. In here goes my big zoom lens. And then we've got camera, uh, lens, camera probably, camera or lens. It fits everything that I need it to fit. It's got another little pouch in here. It's got another little pouch in there. Unfortunately, it can't hold my laptop, but usually when I'm on a shoot, I have another bag anyway, because stuff, I guess. And just in case stuff, you know? So I usually have my, my laptop in that bag. That's all my stuff. Again, I'll probably leave a link down below of everything that I've shown, if I can find links to them, if you're interested in buying any of them. The tripod I'm using is a Manfrotto Action action tripod. It's very, very light. It's very good for sports photography, especially surfing when I'm zooming in on that big one. That's usually on my bag rather than in it, but yeah. So that concludes the um, <laughs> what's in my camera bag. I, uh, oh, I forgot about this. That's my hydro flask. I'm trying to cut down on using plastic, so fill this up all the time, gotta stay hydrated. Many, many trips to the toilet that's just there. Yeah, I also drink a lot of coffee. So, outweigh the hydration and caffeine intake. That is the end of my what's in my bag. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe, do all those other things. I will make another video tomorrow, so I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Why am I talking like this? Okay, ciao.